Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Lady Deadpool B. Shujo from Kotobukiya. That's right, Kotobukiya is bringing an exclusive version of their Lady Deadpool B. Shujo statue to San Diego Comic Con 2016, so let's check her out. As you can see, she comes in similar window box packaging that fully showcases our statue within. And down below that and on the side of the box, we're treated to some beautiful artwork by renowned Japanese illustrator Shunya Yamashita of the statue within. And you can see some of the fun little accessories on this particular piece that makes it exclusive to Comic-Con. The back of the box gives you a few turnarounds of the statue and a description and even a sneak peek at an upcoming Bishujo piece. So let's go ahead and open this one out of the packaging and take a closer look at it. So this is actually the second Lady Deadpool release in the Bishujo lineup. And Bishujo, of course, is a Japanese word that roughly translates to pretty girl or beautiful woman. So it's a specific art style that's used. And we've already looked at the regular release, so be sure to check out my review on that one if you've missed it. This one here has a few differences that makes it stand out. And as you can see, we do have a few accessories down here. So there's some minor assembly required when we get her out of the packaging. So let's go ahead and do that first. Um, so we've got this nice Euro here that we could put in her hand. You can see there's a little peg. Uh, you just got to kind of find the peg hole in the specific spot. Plugs nice and firm into the hand just like that. Uh, the things that really make this fun are her San Diego Comic-Con exclusive swag items. Look at this. We've got a San Diego Comic-Con badge. It's a four-day pass for 2016. And we've got a swag bag, one of the giant bags. If you've been to Comic-Con, you're very familiar with the giant bags. Um, so we've got this little piece of hair that we've got to plug into, her ponytail. I would recommend putting on the badge first. Put the little lanyard around her neck just like that. And then we can take the hair piece and plug it into the back of the head, just like so. And it's got a little peg on there. It's a nice firm grip. There you go. Press that in there. And lastly, we've got the little swag bag. Now, this kind of hangs over the back part. So you can just kind of take the handle and kind of thread it through her fingers just like this. Here we go. Get it on there. Just like that. And that way, she's got it slung over her shoulder. And she is ready to go wait in line for Hall H. <laughs> So let's check out this particular statue. Now, the statue itself, the base part, is pretty much exactly the same as the standard Lady Deadpool statue, complete with the uh, nice circular display base that she's permanently attached to. It's got the uh, Deadpool logo on there. And uh, all of the shading and the paint deco on this is really, really nice. I mean, look at that. Great shading in the red of the outfit there. Good variance in that. Love the pouches and the Deadpool logo on the belt. So... The stance is exactly the same as before, but she's got a few new pieces, of course, that makes her stand out. First of all, you'll notice that the mask is peeled up on this one, which reveals Wanda Wilson's face. You can see it's, it's uh, you know, a little, little dinged up, like you would expect of Deadpool there. Um, but, you know, she's got the pretty girl look to her still, the Bishujo look with the bright eyes there, a little smile on her face. Um, and, of course, in her hand, as we already took a look at, she's holding on to a gyro, ready to eat it. Very, very cool. Uh, the little badge is a great touch, and it looks a lot like the San Diego Comic-Con badges, uh, except I think they changed them this year, but <laughs> I digress. This is still really neat. Uh, it's got the official San Diego Comic-Con logo on there. It says Four Day Pass 2016. It even has a little barcode on there. And then, of course, the bag has the logo as well. Very, very cool. I just thought this was a really fun way to refresh this particular statue. Um, and what's really funny about this, the thing that I really find so neat about it, if you've ever been to Comic-Con, or any convention really, you know that Deadpool and Lady Deadpool both are very common cosplay costumes. So the fact that Wanda Wilson herself is just going as herself to Comic-Con is so meta, right? And it's so, like, perfect fourth wall breaking kind of stuff you would see out of Deadpool. I love this. I think that makes this piece extra fun, extra funny, and just a really cool piece for your collection. So let's go ahead and do this. It's comparison time. Here's a look at that standard release Lady Deadpool standing alongside the new San Diego Comic-Con version just so you can see how they differentiate from each other. And here's something else that's extra fun about this. If you have that standard release, 
the parts are interchangeable between the two, meaning the hands and the heads. So if you want to swap parts on here to make your desired piece, you can do that. You know, I could swap over the, the Comic-Con stuff to this one real easy if I want to, or I could do a simple head swap. I mean, check this out. I can easily just pop the heads off these. They share the same peg as one another. So, uh, you know, if I want to put the mast head on this uh, body here that's uh, already holding on to the Euro and the San Diego Comic-Con stuff, well, I can do that. And now I've got myself a masked version of Lady Deadpool going to Comic-Con. So it's pretty neat that you've got the option to swap those parts there if you want to. So there you go, my friends. There's a look at the brand new San Diego Comic-Con version of the Lady Deadpool Bishujo. I gotta give a special thanks to my friends at Kota Bokia for sending this along so we can get a good look at her before she's released. Like I said, this will be exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con 2016, but if you're not attending, pre-orders are available right now at www.kotous.com. You can also stay up to date on more information from the company on Facebook at facebook.com slash Bokia. And hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on one of my Kodobokia reviews. Until next time, my friends.